Hi, first grade, it's Miss Posidoni, and we are here for another reading lesson. Here are the materials that you need. You need story paper. So you need the story paper that looks like this, and I will explain what you will do with it in a little bit. You need a pencil. You also need these vocab cards, and you need all of them cut out. So I know that we've cut out group one, group two, you are going to cut out group three and group four, and we're going to use all of them today. So make sure that you have all of them nearby because this will guide us into what our writing project is in a little bit, or our writing assignment. The other thing that you might wanna have with you for when we get to our writing is this complete sentence checklist that we've been using to help us out with making sure that we start our sentences with a capital, use finger spacing when we're writing, and also end our sentences with an end mark or a period. Okay, we are going to go ahead and go through these cards. So we're going to go through the cards that we have already gone through, and then we will go through the new cards, and then we will talk about how we are going to use these words in our sentences today. And I think you will enjoy today's writing project. I'm excited for it. Okay, first card I would like you to hold up is this one. And what does this word say? Go, nice job. The G at the beginning makes the G sound and the O has a long O sound to make the word go, G, O, go. And remember how we've been talking about in our phonics lessons that we can chop out words. This is an example of a word we can chop out. There are some words that we can't because they don't look the same way that they sound, but this is an example of one that we can go ahead and chop out to help us out with how to say it. Good. Next card I want you to hold up is this one. And what's this word? Good job. R. R. The R in the beginning kind of sounds like a pirate, right? Like R, and it makes it, the A-R blend makes that R sound. And then the letter at the end, the E, you don't hear it. It's just a silent E. It's just hanging out. This is the word R, like we are in first grade. Go, I can say I go to school. Okay, next one I want you to hold up is this one. And what is this word? Good, it's we, we. The letter at the beginning is W. It makes the w, w sound. And the E makes the long E sound for we. Like we are doing reading together. The next card I want you to hold up is this one. And what does this say? Good, is, is. The letter I at the beginning has the short I sound, and we'll get into short vowels, long vowels, all of that, but it's just kind of a little introduction. So it has that short I sound, it makes the I, I sound. And then the S makes the S sound is, it kind of sounds actually a little bit like a Z, almost like a B, if a B was coming by and buzzing and going Z, that's what that S sounds like at the end, I, Z, is, like, she is eating an apple. Okay, some of these cards are going to be, or actually the rest of these cards are going to be review. The ones that I just showed you were those new cards for today. Let's do our review cards. First one I want you to hold up is this one, and what is this word again? Good, am, am, like I am Miss Posidoni. Okay, next word I want you to hold up is this one. Good, like, like, like I like to eat pizza. Good, and this one has that silent E or magic E at the end, and we'll get to talking about magic E later in the year. What is this one? Hold up this card. Good, I, I, like I am a teacher. All right, next card I want you to hold up is this one. Good, two, two, not like the number two, but like I go to school, I go to the store. Awesome, and the, the letter at the beginning is that consonant T that we've worked with that makes the T, -t sound, and then we have ooh, two for that O right there. It makes that ooh sound. 
All right, next card I want you to hold up is this one. Good, and what's this word? Good, the, the, the T and the H blend to make that sound. And then that E makes the uh, uh sound for the. Like, I like the blue car. Next one I want you to hold up is this one. Good, it's the letter A, but when you say A, you actually pronounce it as a, uh, a, uh, like I see a bug on the ground. Good. And the very last one that we have is this one. Good, C, C, like I see you on Zoom. Nice job. And the S at the beginning makes the S sound, and then the E, they blend together and they make that long E sound. S e, C. Okay, just like we've done with our other reading lessons, we are going to have a writing assignment, and it goes along with the cards that we just did and also with our story, Jack's Talent. Today's the last day that we're working with the story, Jack's Talent, and then we'll move to another story tomorrow. And one of the big, big messages in Jack's Talent was that everyone has a talent. Everyone has something that they are good at. Even if you don't think you are, you are good at it. And someone can point that out and say, hey, guess what? This is a talent of yours. You might not even realize it, but this is a talent of yours. Because if you remember from that story, Jack was thinking he didn't have a talent because he heard all of his classmates share all of their talents. And he's like, I'm not good at any of those things. But that's okay. You're not going to be good at everything, but there are things that you are good at, and that's what makes you special. So we're going to talk about some of those talents that we have. On your story paper, these are the two sentence frames that you are going to fill in. And remember, 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 this is where this complete sentence checklist is going to come into play. So far with your guys' writing, I will already compliment you in saying you've done an amazing job of making sure that you start your sentences with a capital, that you have finger spacing, and that you have a period to end your sentence. So, so far, you guys have been rock stars at that. Let's keep that up. What your two sentence frames are going to be today are, I am, and then this line, and on this line you are going to write your name, and I will show you my example in a moment, and then I am good at, and you are going to write something that you are good at. Now, I just drew these lines to show you that's where you fill in. If for some reason you are writing a word, and you have another word that you need to write, but you ran out of space, what do you do? Good, you drop to the next line. Don't smush in those words together because it's just not necessary, right? You don't need to, you have more space. So you can drop to the next line and just continue your sentence and then make sure you put your end mark at the end and then I'll see, oh, there's their sentence. And you always wanna start at the left of your paper. You don't wanna end up floating your words in the middle because you wanna use all the paper that you have in case you do have a lot of words you need to write. And as we move on in the year, the goal is that we write more sentences, so we want to use all of our paper. Okay, after you fill in those two sentence frames, then you will draw a picture up top of you doing whatever you said you were good at. And I will show you my example in just a moment. The other thing that you are going to do, like you've been doing, is take a picture of it, post it directly on that assignment on Dojo Portfolio, and then make sure that you don't throw this away, just because the next time we have a writing assignment, you can use the back of the paper. Okay, here is my example. So I have, and again, I did not draw my picture. Maybe one of these days I'll end up drawing a picture, but I have a feeling you guys are some better artists than I am. Okay, so here we go. I put, I am Miss Posidoni. I am good at playing volleyball. And that is my example. You can put whatever you are good at. Maybe you're good at cooking. Maybe you're good at drawing. Maybe you have many things that you are good at. Just try and pick one of them. Pick one thing that you really wanna share and something that you wanna draw a picture of. And then take a picture of it, post it onto Dojo Portfolio. And I am so excited to see what you guys are good at. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later, first grade. Bye.